Let's go ahead and consider an application for MSC Apex Modeler. I have this original geometry, which I already gone ahead and uh, created its shell representation. Now we've been given a newer version of the geometry, and you'll notice a few things are different. Here the geometry, or rather the diameter of the hole is different, the length of this flange is a little bit longer. This particular web is actually a little taller now. Rather than going ahead and doing excessive rework, uh, MSC Apex Modeler does this uh, really simply. So here, let's go ahead and jump into our direct modeling and meshing tools. And I can go ahead and make that it's fairly simple. So it's just a matter of selecting the edge and moving it, in, moving it into place. And you'll notice that I'm not here uh, playing with various forms. The changes are very natural to me. So here it's as if I'm taking my fingers and dragging it into place and I'll go ahead and do this last change here. And there goes our flange update. And now if we look around the model, you'll see that the updates have been made very quickly. One last thing I can go ahead and do is uh, export this into BDF or parasolid format. Uh, if it's a mesh, it's going to BDF. If it's the geometry, it's going to parasolid. And the reason this is useful is because I can continue my process in an application such as Patron where I can do uh, uh, actual structural analysis there. And there you go. That's one example of where you can use MSA Epic Modeler.